So we're going to do a quick flyover here. We're going to enter the, uh, the site from the south side. The first element we come across is the primary crusher. A number of the pieces of equipment for this project were already previously procured for the 60K. They were going to be re reused for the 30K, and some of them are being used here in the 30. The primary crusher is not one of them. This is a new purchase specifically for the 30K project. You can see it's semi in the ground. It's an FL Schmidt machine and uh, double-sided loading to allow efficiency coming out of the pit. An apron feeder at the bottom leading into the conveyor. You can see the uh, skid steer there for uh, scale. Conveyor leading up to the stockpile. The same stockpile will be used for both phase one and phase two. It has a capacity of 45,000 tons a day or about 15,000 tons for the, the live. Three apron feeders at the bottom which will feed the sag mill. Again, you can see the skid steer there at the bottom for scale. As uh, the, the ore feed heads up to the sag mill, we pass on the left the pebble crusher. This is a unit we already own, so it's not new uh, capex. For the 30, a set, another pebble crusher will be installed roughly in the same area. Heading up towards the sag mill, uh, lime slaking facility here on uh, the bottom. And then we head over here to the main event, the sag mill. The sag mill has a lot of history. It was procured over five years ago for the 60K. It's an FL Schmidt machine. 40 foot diameter, 26 megawatts. And we went through a number of trade-off studies as to whether to buy a new one or to reuse uh, the one we had. And the results of those studies indicate that this is the right mill for 30,000 tons a day. And it does give us that optionality. You can see lots of room around that. And there's the cyclone at the top. The uh, cyclone overflow then heads over to the existing portion of the plant. Phase two, the 30K would be up there in the top right. We haven't shown that here in, in this video. This video focuses on the 12. We're now flying over the existing plant. You can see the outlines of what we already have in place, the tanks. Um, and uh, you can see the new elements are essentially the ones that are shown in 3D. In the foreground, acid wash, elution, carbon treatment, and three new leach tanks with a provisional uh, foundation for a fourth leach tank. Uh, so these are the new elements in the existing mill. And lastly, we just do a quick fly over here, over the existing ball mills. These are the only elements that are already in place, which we're showing in three dimensions. And uh, there are some upgrades taking place to these. And put together, this is the phase one 12K portion of the project. And uh, the upfront portion, the, the crusher, the stockpile and the sagmill are sized for 30, so very little additional upgrades will need to take place there. Here, we zoom out of the site and uh, you can see the, uh, the new mill in context. The West Branch pit is over here on the right, which is the south end of the site, north, south. Uh, from one end to the other, it's about eight kilometers along the, the pits. West Branch is over here. One of the trade-offs we had to make in using the existing mill which led us to the major capital savings was being further away from the West Branch uh, than we wanted to. So the existing facilities are there in the dotted box, and you can see the little shapes showing the, uh, the crusher, the conveyor, and the sag mill. And some of the other key facilities are indicated here, but the tailings is another component of the new facility, as well as upgrades to some of the existing infrastructure.